I got banned from family reunions for the stupidest reason. My family is extremely spiritual. I'm not sure how to explain it other than they hate me. I'm a child of the devil because I was born on a blood moon, or for the science people in the room, a lunar eclipse. Now, they've never really done anything with this collective hatred other than kind of shun me every now and again. They really like to make me feel like I'm not part of the family. It's fine though, because I don't have to deal with them anymore. My whole life, all they saw in me was bad luck. I was a bad omen as they put it, and the longer I lived, the more I began to believe it myself. First of all, my mom passed away during birth due to a plethora of complications, and I've been blamed for it ever since. That, mixed with the eclipse, sealed my fate for life. On the day of my middle school graduation, my cousin had a doctor's appointment, and she was diagnosed with cancer. She beat it, luckily, but my family believes it was because they didn't allow me anywhere near her for the duration of her treatment. The day I got my driver's license was the worst of all. I was driving home from our celebratory dinner, my dad in the passenger seat, and my grandparents in the back. It was dark, but there weren't a lot of people on the road. When suddenly, a drunk driver barreled towards us, I tried to swerve out of the way, but I wasn't fast enough. I woke up in the hospital, and was promptly informed that everyone involved in the crash had died, even the other driver. I, somehow, had survived in critical condition. Apparently, I had been in a coma for weeks, and during that time, my aunts, uncles, and cousins all came to visit me, only to deliver me cards that were filled with profanities and pitchforks. They called me the devil. I wasn't even invited to the funeral, and no one wanted to take me in, so I ended up in a group home. I'm 31 now, and every last relative I had is now gone. It's sad really, I mean, all six of my aunts and uncles, all 15 of my cousins, all of them, gone. I don't feel bad though, they were all horrible people, and they all spent their last moments staring down the barrel of the R15 I took from my granddad's safe, begging, and pleading that I spare them, apologizing for the torment all these years, saying we'll do better in the future. It was all bullshit, if I had let them live, they would have gone back to their old ways and cast me out again. They needed to pay for what they've done to me and they needed to do it now. I have no remorse, and I hope to meet them all in hell one day.